We're following breaking news out of Colorado, a body found in the search for 12-year-old Kaylee Wilson. Here's police just moments ago confirming the worst. We have a, uh, a very brief statement actually for you on the uh, Kaylee Wilson missing person case. Uh, on March 28th, Kalia Wilson, age 12, was reported missing to the Greeley Police Department. At about 6 a.m. yesterday, Wednesday, a body was discovered by a ditch rider in an irrigation ditch near the intersection of 35th Avenue and the Highway 34 bypass in Greeley. The Well County Coroner's Office has now identified the body as that of Kalia Wilson. The information provided to us by the Coroner's Office indicates that the death does not appear to be accidental in nature, and as a result, a homicide investigation is now being conducted by the Greeley Police Department with the support of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. The Colorado Bureau of Investigation, the CBI, is also providing technical assistance to us in this case. Excuse me, Chief. We are continuing to ask for the public support with information on this case, the FBI's offer of $20,000 as a reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of a person or persons responsible for this crime uh, remains in effect. The phone number that we have been using uh, for tips on this case is still active, is still good. That number that we would appreciate your help in publicizing is area code 970 350-9600, and information that's provided at that number will be relayed to a GPD detective who will be in touch with the person. At this point in the investigation, there is very little more that I can say, but I will be glad to try and answer your inquiries to the extent that I can, realizing there's not much I can tell you. Sir. Can you, can you tell us what the dental records that you identified through? Yes, sir. It was dental records that identified the body. Chief, can you tell us anything about the cause of death? No. Chief, can you tell us if anybody is already eliminated off your list of suspects, including family or strangers? Is there any reason to believe that there is someone out there who could commit a crime like this again at this point? We can't guarantee you that there's not someone that would if given the opportunity to do this type of crime again. Obviously, I can't make you that guarantee. Uh, we still have a wide range of people of interest to us that we'll be following up on. Chief, were there any items located at, this, at the crime scene that indicated that it was her, such as that missing uh, inhaler? Uh, any, any clothing items like that that, that were found? You know, the best I can answer that question is to tell you that we have recovered items of evidence but I can't really go into what we've recovered at this point. Sorry, I can't give you more. From the canal? From several different locations. Yes, sir. So does this become a murder investigation at this point? This, is, kind of investigation? this is a homicide investigation, a murder investigation at this point. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. All right, you've been listening there to a press conference, again, confirming the worst. Uh, Galea Wilson, 12 years old, her body found in a ditch, badly, bad, bad, her body badly decomposed, had to be uh, identified through dental records. What we know, not a lot at this point. She went missing March 28th. We believe she was walking to a friend's birthday party, believe in the neighborhood, never arrived at that birthday party, and now our worst fears have been confirmed. Joining us to talk about this, Adam Chodak, reporter KUSA, has been following this. Adam, as we look at this case, and did I go wrong there? Did we have any other details? It was pretty scarce when we covered this a month and a half ago. Is that about it? She was walking to a birthday party, never arrived, and never a trace since until now. You're absolutely right, Mike. In fact, uh, the only thing that we have more than that is uh, they had surveillance video of her at the Greeley Mall in between her house and the birthday party that she was heading to, but that was it. No other clues until this body turned up. And when it did, of course, everyone began to speculate that this was the body of Kalia. And since that news conference, a lot of people, everyone involved in this case, have been very uh, affected by this, including those who have been watching this and, of course, our family friends. And that includes uh, Cindy Rogers. Uh, she joined us now. Cindy, uh, you just heard the news. Uh, what did you think when they, when they finally confirmed that it was Kalia's body? It was a relief as well as devastating. Um, you know, now it's just the fact of 
coming to grip as a community and finding who did this to Kalia. Um, laying her to rest is now the biggest part that we need to do, um, as well as finding who did this to her. Right now, I mean, my sympathy goes out to her family, um, you know, and the community is going to pull together. We're going to find out who did this to her, and I beg anyone out there, if you have any information regarding what happened to this Okay, we seem to have lost our feed in the middle of an interview there as a community now comes to grips with the death of a 12-year-old, Kaylea Wilson. Uh, we're going to continue to follow that. We heard uh, law enforcement in the press conference say they have recovered items of evidence at several locations. They did not mention anybody in, in particular. One thing that caught our attention, at one point she had a 17-year-old boyfriend. Again, she was only 12. So we'll follow up these angles for you as uh, we continue to... Follow this sad, sad case. Worst fears confirmed as 12-year-old Kate Leo Wilson's found dead, her body found in a ditch. Unbelievable.